All right, let's give a warm Nevada welcome. Republican Senate candidate Adam Laxalt joins us. There's a bottle of water if you're thirsty. All great right. to see you. How are you? We're great. Hey. We're ready to charge the hill here. Um, it's interesting to watch. You you are in the lead now in this race. It's a two. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. You have a two point race. This would be a, a needed pickup if there's any hope for Republicans to take back control of the Senate. Tell us why you're confident these polls are going to hold up and you'll probably do better. Look, the bottom line is um, all your national viewers know what's going on in the country. We have high inflation. We have all these things. But in Nevada, it's far worse. We have 16 percent inflation here. You could pay over six dollars a gallon for gas Wait, in well, this hold state. On. So the rest of the country is 8.5. You have twice the level of inflation. Twice the level. Tied for the highest wow. in the country. And so... And, and again, By gas... the way, Terry Fader is here, who has the number one show on, on the Strip. That means people... That means fuel locals are going to your... Wow. So, you know, th this economy that Senator Masto has voted for, all of these Biden bills, has made our state absolutely unaffordable. It is unsustainable, and it cuts across working class, it cuts across Hispanic voters. People are absolutely fed up. And then you add, of course... The rise in crime and our border issues, I'm sure we can get to. Uh, it, it is a perfect cocktail of everything going wrong in Las Vegas, and that's why we're going to flip the seat. You know, it, what's happening here... <laughs> what's happening in Nevada is interesting, because it's happening all across the country. Now, I know everyone wants to blame Joe Biden, and by the way, he deserves his... I don't think he knows that today is Tuesday, but that's <laughs> a different, different story, but... It's every Democrat now. They've all bought into this radicalism, which is, okay, they want higher taxes, they want the new Green Deal, which is uh, a shift from capitalism to socialism, right? They don't want us to produce energy domestically, which is insane. They're begging our enemies for the lifeblood of our economy. They want open borders. They have, you know, they're all supporting defund, dismantle, and no bail laws. And they don't want to educate our kids with reading, writing, and math. They'd rather talk about gender identity and, you know, sex education. And I think parents would prefer we go back to math, reading, science, and history. And, you know, what I think is worse about all this is that someone like Senator Masto, she won't run on her record. You know, so all these Democrats, they support these policies that you listed, but then they put commercials on for Nevada voters and they put something else in front of the public. And they lie about the record. So if you believe in this stuff and you vote for this stuff, go sell it to the American public. But they're not willing to stand behind these policies. And a lot of these policies we never voted on. Yeah. No one here voted on the Green New Deal. We did not vote for, OK, if you go after American energy independence, it's going to give you $6 gas. If we got to vote on that this state, you better believe Democrats would have lost last election. But they sneak it all in. Yeah. You know, it's so important. Uh, he's been very gracious. He flew across country to be with us tonight. Uh, let's give a, a warm Nevada welcome to uh, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. Senator Scott, come on in. How are you? How are you, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Hello, Nevada! <laughs> wow. Oh, I, love it. I, love it. I like this. It's good to be with you. By the way, Terry Fader, you may have competition on the strip. I don't know. <laughs> what Great. we know is that Sean Hannity doesn't have competition on any show. Oh, He's yeah. the man, the myth, and the legend. Yeah, you're, you're great. You know, yes. 
I've, you've been gracious enough to come to these town halls Absolutely. because it's important. Yes. And one thing that you've been saying and Lindsay's been saying and every other Republican, that if, if Adam Laxall does not win, and I believe you will win, yes. That, yes. That, will, that that will cancel out the vote of, of people like you and well, Lindsay and other senators that have a different vision for the country. Listen, my life story isn't possible in any other country on earth. I was born, I mean, this is the country. I was born and raised in a single parent household, mired in poverty. It's the American system of free markets and capitalism. It was a mentor, a Republican conservative Christian who taught me that all things were possible in America. If we lose that, nothing good happens for the world. Electing Adam Laxalt is one of the ways that we protect Create a firewall in the United States Senate, elect Adam Laxalt. So people, little boys and little girls like me, yeah. get to grow up and be the man that God wants us to be. Think about it this way. I get so excited about our country. I love this country. America is always the solution. We are never the problem. Always the solution. So true. Think about this. When we were in charge from 2016 to 2020, President Trump and a Republican-controlled Congress created seven million jobs, two-thirds going to women, African-Americans, and Hispanics, the most inclusive economy in the history of America, mm. brought to you by the Republican Party. Right. It was the Republican Party that brought HBCU funding to the highest level in the history of the country. It was the Republican Historically Party. Historically black colleges if is what he's referring exactly. to. Exactly. Yeah. It was the Republican Party that brought unemployment rates to the lowest level for Hispanics under 5%, African Americans under 6%, Asians under 3%, the overall population 3.5%. It's the Biden administration that has provided every single American with a pay cut because of inflation. Inflation is a tax on hardworking Americans like the single mom that raised me. We can't afford 14 more days, 14 more days of this administration. But if we elect him in 14 days, two years later, we'll get rid of President Biden too. It's time for revival in America. You know, let me go back to Adam Laxalt. So to me, being a conservative, I can say it in less than a minute. We believe in liberty, freedom, capitalism, uh, our Constitution. We believe in less government, less bureaucracy. We believe in law and order and safety and security in every town, every city. You can't pursue happiness without it. Uh, we believe in education and the parents should have a say in their kids' education. Reading, writing, math, science, history, right, the basics. Um, we believe in secure borders. Uh, we believe in peace through strength. We believe in free and fair trade. We believe in constitutionalists on the bench. Uh, we also believe, as a country, we should be energy independent, not sucking up to Saudi Arabia, right? Yeah. Those are all issues you addressed on the campaign trail, and where you stand, you will be a great partner with Senator Tim Scott and Mike Lee, who will join us in a little bit. That, Tell us how you became the conservative you are. Let me just say that, and I take the Hispanic vote here in Las Vegas, and everything that you just mentioned is under assault right now. And, and people move to Las Vegas because they believe in the American dream. This is still an oasis here. You can come out west, you can work hard, and you can actually move into the middle class and grow, raise and grow a family. What's happening to the Hispanic community in Las Vegas is why you're seeing this massive shift. They're killing our schools. They shut them down during COVID. We have rise in crime. We have open borders, which, of course, Senator Masto says there's no such thing as an open border. And this is allowed. Fentanyl overdoses, human trafficking spikes, all these things are combining with the high gas prices, the inflation, the job market. The American dream is disappearing in Las Vegas. That's why you're seeing people ready to raise up and tell people like Senator Masto they don't represent them anymore. You know what the strange thing is? Is uh, as I was following your race from the earliest days, and I had you first on my radio show, and I'm like, who's Senator Masto? Who is that? And the reason we know so little about her is she is a rubber stamp Chuck Schumer, Joe Biden voter. She, Absolutely. She never puts a ripple in the water. Just is a, a reliable 
liberal democratic socialist vote. Hey, look, as everybody here knows, she's been running commercials that she's an independent. Huh. She's never, she's, she acts like she's never even heard of Joe Biden. <laughs> I remind people that she was on the VP shortlist. Her husband and Hunter Biden are close buddies. They go way back. And the fact of the matter is, she's hiding from Joe Biden because she's voted with him 100% time with his economic agenda. She supported the open borders policies and law enforcement. Las Vegas Metro's here. Yeah. They left her and they supported me because they know I'll stand with law enforcement. Well, let me ask you both. We have about a minute before we have to go to break. There is a phenomenon. It's happening around the country. It's showing up in every poll. Hispanic Americans, African Americans, they are moving in big numbers to the Republican side. What's happening, Senator? Well, simple. We are a party. We are the great opportunity party. Our doors are open for everybody. The difference is we're walking out of our doors and into the neighborhoods. We're having a common sense conversation with people at their kitchen table about their priorities, not ours. America, Americans love this country. And every single time we give them a chance to vote for us, because we, they know we're on their side. Sean, they know mm. we're on their side. Whether it's the economy, whether it's fighting crime, the Democrats say, blame the police. We say, let's respect the police. Let's stand for the police. Let's love the police. Let's appreciate the police. He has the backing of law enforcement because we stand for the police. They want to defund the police. We say, refund the police. <laughs> African Americans, 80% plus, want the same level of policing in their neighborhoods or more. The mass media has sold minorities a lie. You're standing up for all of us. God bless you. Senator, the last 30 seconds. Is this change real? It's in almost every poll I read. Look, I think it's going to be lasting as long as we are the party of the American dream, opportunity, law and order, safety, mm -hmm. secure borders, school choice. All these things are going to turn the Hispanic right. community permanently to our direction. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.